Sirach 45 and 5. He had, uh, this is talking about Moses. He made him to hear his voice and brought him into the dark cloud and gave him commandments before his face, even the law of life and knowledge that he might teach Jacob his covenants and Israel his judgments. I'm going to drop down to verse 17. This is Sirach 45 and 17. He gave unto him his commandments and authority in the statue of judgments that he should teach Jacob the testimony and inform Israel in his laws. Okay. In fact, and this is another, this is more proof. This is Baruch. This is Baruch 4. That's still in the Apocrypha. This is Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endureth forever. Okay, let me read that again. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endureth forever. So again, if you're thinking that, oh, it's the Ten Commandments and then the law, as if the law, the law you just keep Ten, again, you know, how, however, however people want to twist it, the law and commandments are the same. The law are the commandments. The commandments are the law, which, and I'm going to keep further proving it, but this is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endure forever. All that, all they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Okay. So <laughs> like the Lord, like the Lord told, uh, the man in Matthew 19, how, do, how do I get eternal life? Okay. By keeping the commandments. All right. And I just did. Uh, I just did uh, ref refer to uh, to repent, repent or perish, which I just did that lesson. Okay. Um. So let's go back to the. Let's go to Proverbs. This is Proverbs seven. Okay, this is Proverbs 7, 7 and 1. My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live in my law as the apple of thine eye. So we just read, keep my command, uh, and the other scripture that those that keep the commandments shall live. Okay, and Baruch, the first uh, 4 and 1. And then it, Proverbs 7 and 2, keep my commandments and live and my law as the apple of thy eye. So again, put in basically uh, the law of commandments again. This is Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3 and 1. My son, keep, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For that, for a uh, length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Okay, so let's go to Deuteronomy. This is Deuteronomy 6 and 2. All right, I'll start at the top. Now, these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Most High your power commanded to teach you that ye might do them in the land whether ye go to possess it, that thou might, mightest fear the Most High thy power to keep all his statutes and his commandments which I command thee thou and thy son and thy son's son all the days of thy life and that thy um and that thy days may be prolonged okay so that's that's where it's quoting from also deuteronomy 8 deuteronomy 8 and 1 okay so let me go to tobit this is tobit 4 and 5 okay my son the back in the Apocrypha, Tobit 4 and 5. My son, be mindful of the Most High, our power, all thy days, and let not the, uh, thy will be set to sin or to transgress his commandments. Do uprightly all thy li uh, life long and follow not the ways of unrighteousness. Okay. So, again, this I'm, I'm all getting this ready for what I'm about to bring out in a minute. Okay. Um, Let's go to, 
this is Amos. This is Amos four, or this is Amos two and four. Thus saith the Most High, for three transgressions of Judah and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they have despised the law of the Most High and have not kept His commandments. Okay, they have despised the law of the Most High and have not kept His commandments, and their lies caused them to err after the which their uh, fathers have walked. Okay. All right, so let's go to Second Ezra's back in the Apocrypha. Second, this is Second Ezra's fifteen and twenty-four. Woe unto them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith the Most High. Okay, so woe unto them that sin and keep not my commandments. Okay, and this is. The next chapter over, Second Ezra 16 and 76. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. And this is talking about the last days I did. I did um, the, the law is not done away with the last day edition. You can I, I break this down. But uh, let me get to the point. And, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts saith the most high power let not your sins weigh you, uh, weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves okay so let's go to first john three and four okay so i kept saying sin the last few scriptures i got it just said commandments transgress the commandments sin it was going into the commandments but this is what it is this is 1 John 3 and 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. Okay? So, the commandments, the law, same thing. You transgress the commandments, you're transgressing the law. So, it, there's no different from e each other again. And, you know, I, di I didn't want, um, I may do an extra and kind of show more in depth. As far as like, yeah, you got the 10 and then, yeah. But again, like I said, um, like the homosexuality, uh, Paul cuts that in Romans 1, cuts that in uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Um, you know, the Lord, Matthew 19. So, yeah, I, thou shall not be a home, uh, thou shall not, you know, be a homosexual or. You know, like this, like it says in Leviticus 20 and 10 is not in the Ten Commandments, but yet you, you're going to still be punished if you're what you're keep, you're a homosexual that but you keep the Ten Commandments. But uh, I may, you know, I may bring do an extra real quick to, to bring that out. But I just wanted to show how the, the law and the commandments are the same thing. OK, so you like I said, first uh, John three and four, whosoever committed sin. Uh, excuse me. Whosoever committed sin, a transgressor, also the law for sin is the transgression of the law. Okay, so you know, I hope brothers and sisters was edified. Okay, so um, yeah, yeah, that's I mean that's pretty much what I wanted to bring out. DTA Death to America, Shalom. Scriptures, no vain opinion.